looks like the phone's cooperating for now. It might, I let it run for several minutes. Maybe that'll help it not lock up as much. Chris and I are here. He's got me going first. Let's see what happens. I'm not used to alternating. That's how long it's been. Chris is up. A little up to the left. Starting off better than I did, which isn't really saying much. Oh, now it's starting to sputter. Ooh, too thin. And maybe a second. Oh, there we go. Well, that piece of wood, perhaps. Oh, well, now it's a little hard. He's starting with an eight at least. He goes for the hard one. Niner. start. Two frames and a nine. Meanwhile, Chris has nine with just one. This game's a throwaway. Ooh. Two full, but it's Putnam Street. He leaves the devil's bedpost. Oh, no, he doesn't. Devil's bed post is the four and six. He's got the four and four and nine. And a ten. That could save the train wreck. All we need is El Stinko the bonus ball to actually be good, and it'll put us back on track. 19 after three with a spare. Ooh, oh, too far left. Some of that famous Putnam Street action there. I him right in the middle of the pile. That looks good. Oh! It was a little off, but I thought it was good enough. And 10. 29 after 3 for him. Y'all know what time it is.
It's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? A fill of five helps, but look what I got. So the fill, only a 29 after four. So this game is junk. Meanwhile, he has 29, and this frame to go. Thin hit, but, oh. Hey, he's favorable. He saw it between the, he saw it between the three and the six. Fattens up the six. I'm the master of choking. And wow. It ain't. Here's a 58. It looks like that's what we're going for. 6 3, spare, and a 5, which happens to also be the fill, and a 6, only a 35. This game's gone. Chris hasn't even started, and he's at 37. And because he's my friend, I'm not going to charge him for copyright infringement. <laughs> a great spare ball, but the nine says no way. There's a plan B. Let's see if it's needed. And nine. So Chris's half is a nine, a pair of tens, an eight, and a nine, 46. 35, 46. This game is a throwaway. fair part of the lane, so it's good. That's the middle finger on a nut. Needless to say, my high triple of 314 is not going to get broken. Sputtering. Four horses.
Eastman, minus one, and yeah, minus one. And the rules of canopy bowling, we gotta wait for the wood to settle down. Eight. It's good practice. This game's jump, so it's good practice. Oh, actually, it's still possible for a good game, but it's very, very weak. Ooh. All right, that's three times in a row he did my patented first ball 10 pin. That's a good one. Oh. Everywhere but the two and everywhere but the two and four. Oh hello Tom Riley. Mr. Kiss, hello. And Chris, I am bowling with Chris. Seven. Oh, I, I have to get a 19 or better. Two frames left. In order to reach the good game status. Which proves to you I never got better at this. Oh, no. Eight is great, but ten's better. There you go. Need to clear the plate or else the game's no good. Mediocrity. At least I'm at mediocrity right now. But I need a 10 to hit bottom end of average. Average ability.
penalty according to ICBA is 90 for a casual league player. 80-100 is typical 10-point spread that people generally have. I need to get a 10 at the least. Just like he did. Game number one's mediocre, so it's no good. It proves I still suck at candlefish. Come on, it's Putnam Street. Ooh, the lily. And a piece of wood that's, uh, I don't know. Around there, it might be helpful. Oh. Now he's got the wool work. And, oh wow, come, there it is. Just say, come on. And, yep, I still suck. I just get lucky once in a while. Let's see if we can get out of this. Needless to say, as I said before, my eye trickle is not going to happen. Again, the power again. All right, game two. Much better start with a 10. And this thing did what it does best. There we go. It then throws on its own. Let me just feel this thing. It's a hair warm. It becomes problematic if I unplug the power. In fact, I might just do that now. Eight. Yeah, I unplug it. It seems it'll behave a little better without it. I need a new phone, but phones would cost money. That one fell out, so it's time 
for the Emily. That is zero in ball one, everything in ball two. one that was teetering but it seems like I don't have the power it works better but we're gonna need it at some point nice ball a little thin but make will spare reverse check mark on the left two four five seven All right, that's where there aren't any pins. I know that shot quite well. As Richie Myrick calls it, finding the curtain in, and he gets his patented number. simply fell over, so it's way behind the left uh, You know what Steve Brunchuk would say? How does that happen? Just turns on, on a dime, sees the pin, ignores the bowling gods, and let me have it. the reverse half Worcester right which means he's not at Miola's ice cream oh, a piece of wood could make that nine pin go away right at it oh niner stays but it's not an eight Say, wouldn't it suck if that were a strike? There we go. Wood likes to stick up on the uh, inside the uh, pit in this place. Especially the end lanes, one in ten. He took something out with that. There 
there we go. And, oh, hey, there we go. That's a good one. Eight is great, but 10 is better. My halftime, much better, still not the best, but acceptable. 10, 7, 10, and a pair of eights for a 43. We all know that MGM will pay, they'll, they'll pay you a thousand bucks for every 10 if Chris gets a strike first, and if I get a strike first, I will get ten dollars will get you about one point two million. Ooh. The important thing is it's not an eight. And a niner. So his half is a pair of eights, a nine, a 10, and a nine for a 44. And he hit 10. He's the Billy Mitchell of candle pin bowling. He's cheating. <laughs> Maybe the fact that I uh, magic erasered the balls might have had a little something with game one. Or I just suck and get lucky. Ooh, too full. But this is not set up that bad. Ooh, this is not set up bad at all. Then it would have It's still not too bad. right between the stripes. Just like that. It's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will it be? First one wasn't too bad, just got cursed from it after. El Stinko is a good leave and a seven. Nine is fine. Holding God's middle finger for the nine. And now it's time for his bonus. Looking 
looking good. Oh, too full again, but wow, still a good leaf. Eight is great, especially for a fill. He's set up really good for the spare. I think Stevie Wonder could get this one. And there it is. Two in a row for him. Now if either one of us gets three marks in a row, we'll show you the turkey animation. Because in Candlepin, because it's harder, a turkey is any three marks in a row. Take eight after that disastrous uh, run there. I just gave this live stream its first line, then after that, there's seven. Okay. Now there's three. And, oh, Chris got El Stinko. That was a piece of wood in the back that, and I don't know where it is, but it could help the back row if it's a little off. Ooh, that looks good. Uh, two fall. He leaves the he leaves an eagle with a pretty much stubby wing on the left. Seven. Avoid setting up for a slayer. trying to hit that left piece of wood, which hopefully would have taken the 10. Of course, it helps if you actually hit it. All right, decent game. And off to the side. Ten thousandth of an inch smoothness of the urethane top on the pin plates. Give us the wonderful action. Wow, with a 10 pin deck, you don't have to resort to doing things to get the same action. Wow, eight is great again. It's our friend Bob Kaliri. Let's say hi to Bob Kaliri. You know what? I'm sick of him. Let's wave goodbye to Bob Kaliri. <laughs> Chris is saying hi,
Now that's a much better game. Got a 10. He hit, he hit wood on the plate, so that counts as good. And he says, look what's left, the bowling god's middle finger. Oh, one away. Ninety-five, ninety-nine. Not bad. Now we're waiting for the computer to let us go. All right, here we go. Game number three. Same start as before. My fingers are staying clean. Then again, he just redid everything, so. Maybe if, maybe we'll be able to show you that he repainted the ball returns. They look pretty good. Hey, you can see ours, the bright green. Over it goes. Well, worst case, he's got a six. And six sucks. the perfect game, only a nine. In candle pin bowling, unlike 10 pin, a perfect game is you get all the pins down in your turn each time. And only once, I believe, according to candle pin forums, has it been accomplished that a perfect game was achieved with no marks with a score of 100. 200 of all spares, and what's impossible, still, a 300. World record is held by Chris Sargent and somebody named Sem that I keep forgetting. World record of 245. Ow. Bowling God waves it again. MJ 
GM is going broke. How many, but then how many people bet I would be the first one getting the strike? There's a lot of millionaires out there. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, it went right at the last moment. Don't know if that was a good thing. Maybe. Oh, come on. That piece of wood screwed him. Niner. It's now time for two El Stinko the bonus balls. What will it be? This is one of the places I've got a double strike. The other place was Acton Bolodrome because it's a grease pit. And somehow, and Chris witnessed it, Brian's bowl away. Can we do it here again? It has been done multiple times here. Now Stinko One really lives up to its name. Crappy four fill on the strike. of the fill. Seven. Still a decent score. Pretty much the strike was an accomplishment and nothing more. Yes, Tom, it's nice to have him back. We've both been busy. He's been very busy. Looks good. Oh, too full. No, I thought he got a niner, but he got his patented number of eight. Easy action that's saving it. First half for me is the 10, 9, a strike that didn't really matter much, a 7, 4 of them making the fill, and an 8 for 48, which ain't too bad. So you know which one will stay. And middle finger stays. He's got a six, a pair of nines, an eight, and a nine. 41. 48, 41.
as Dave Madela says, it's pretty when it goes. I still don't see why that's his favorite leaf. Might as well make your favorite leaf the spread eagle. Although that's actually a lot worse. Way too far back. It's like two and a half feet. Um, like uh, actually about 15 inches between the nine pin falling down and the head. Spare. He answers. So we know what that means. It's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Gotta love the Putnam Street pin action and the one ten thousandth of an inch tolerance on the pin. Eight is great. That's also the fill. Actually, it is pretty great. Let's see what his bonus is. Uh, seven? Seven. Two in a row. Sticky spot right at the line saved me from going over it. Ooh, nice game. That's a good one. There he goes. Does that give us a turkey? Oh, why, yes, it does. Although it's going to play a strike animation first. Like I said, when he gets a turkey. Although in candlepins, like I say, and I repeat it because it's a live stream, you just need to mark three times in a row. Three spares, three strikes, or any combination thereof counts. All right, so he's going to win this one. But who cares the way to score is right now. Oh, yeah, 
triangle, now I need to add. If I can get seven, I'll hit three digits. Meanwhile, Chris has two bonus balls. And he could get a spare. So far, a seven and a, and a uh, fourth in that does not want to go. And he reset on his second ball. It happens. So that's a nine for him. Complaining? No. Because I hit three digits. Alright. If he can get the spare and then a two fill, he'll tie his high of 118. I'm surprised his high is only a 118. Oh, no chance for a new high single. Still a good game. Really good game. Niner. I lost, but I'm not upset with what I got. Seven kind of hurt a little bit. Alright, uh, game number four. We play six. Oh, thanks, KC, for the Skins Tournament compliment. Game number four. Miss much. I lost the last game to no surprise, but it was a 102 to 116 or something like that. I don't mind losing if my score is three digits in it. Spare. I think you're sucky page. Shot it. 
And this game's starting to go to hell in the hand basket. That's a six. Meanwhile, Chris has his spare fill. And, ow. Is that a three, I believe? El Stinko visits Chris. But still a 13 to start with. Starting with more than 10 on the first frame is not a bad thing. Even if El Stinko's a one. Oh, he could have got it. He could have got redemption, but eh, pins didn't go the way they should. And 10. Two sixes. You know what that means. Being the way that everything's going today, it means it will happen. Or worse. Strike. No. Well, it still sucks. Piece of wood on the right that's angled. Instead, he does what Richie Myrick says is find the curtain. That's my that's my patented shot. Yeah, if that were the second ball, then he would have a shot at ten. Just avoided getting a slayer by getting a nine. Bob is bad enough, we don't need a Tom. Ooh. <laughs> Too bad it was a lob. <laughs> Who the hell cares? As I say, minor lobs we let live. That was minor. Well, yeah, I saw that too. That was the thing I actually noticed the most. Not the fact that it lobbed slightly. Spare. Uh, it's not a competition, so... Me, I'll let minor ones live, and if it's too much, I don't.
rebuildable half, eight, six, six, and a nine, which avoids getting a slayer, and another nine, that's 38. In case I haven't figured it out, if it gets three sixes in a row, it's a slayer. And that was a, uh, what was the fill there, four? four. Week four, it's in. Oh, uh, damn it. This is why when I'm with people, they let them score. I suck at the sport and scoring in it. Every once in a while I get lucky. Ouch. Oh, Curse of the Phil. That's a four. So he's got a spare, a ten, three of those ten for that Phil, a nine, another spare, and Curse of the Spare, Curse of the Phil with a four, three making the Phil. 38-49 his favor. helps. Still need a little, still need some repair. Time to plug it in. Get some power. Watch the thing freeze up because it's going to heat it. Uh, it's funny how like more go than what actually does. Just what I said, as soon as I plug in the power, this stupid thing doesn't want to work. Eight. Eight is great. Plus it's also a, well, it's Fitchburg, so there's no high-speed internet. And there's almost no signal. If it's a full rack and a foul ball takes out pins, you are allowed to reset. Best I can do is the Emily Spare. Not gonna help. Need at least a nine and then maintain eights and better. So close. Would have been a spare. Would have been a tough one, but with that piece of wood behind the three, it would have happened. Ouch. Six. Or is that a, yeah, that's a six. Five? Oh, I didn't see the other pin there. Beat 
you to say in that. Looks like this game's junk. I mean, it's still... Actually, it is kind of possible, but I'm not putting a lot of money on it. Washout minus the 10. That may have saved it. That's not a guarantee. There was an instance at the place where the gods hate me the most, where I got a strike, got a zero fill, and then a gutter ball right after. Talk about the exact opposites. And, oh, come on. He should have answered back. I mean, you did, but they decided not to. Spare? Good enough. The only way strike is better is if you get two in a row or multiples. Which, I repeat this because people may join the stream. This place, I've got two in a row, tw I think twice or three times. I've done it at Acton Bolodrome because it's a grease pit. I've done it at Brian's, which Chris saw happen, and no one could explain how that was a thing, being it's a hard place. Can we get another one? Two El Stinko the bonus balls. That alone saves it. Nice nine fill. Off by one. But hey, considering how it was. Wow, three sixes in there. Week four. He's won this anyway. That's all he needed. So he's at least at the middle end of average. And that's whatever he's got there. So hard to see from here. Five, which he does. Well, he 
tied. All right. And it's to go. And Chris, I'll tell you what's and thank you, Chris. All right, game number five. Let's pop in uh, power so the phone will struggle. And here we go. Pretty good, and the kingpin remains for nine. The kingpin's further away from the deck light, so it appears darker. That's how I can tell. That a slightly, slightly bigger black space between the pin and the lane. Far when it's not a good game. It's only two. He avoids leaving a flux capacitor, which is what Dave calls the one, five, eight, and nine. And it does look like one. And middle finger. Nine is fine. I didn't get that well. Well, it wouldn't be surprising, but that'll help. Sometimes these half whister shots can be really bad. Although the piece of wood there might help.
And 10. He tells the bowling god what he thinks of him. Meanwhile, it's time for everybody's favorite bonus ball, El Stinko. What will the bonus be? El Stinko didn't stink with a nine. Well, maybe the wood stinks. Before he goes, take a look at this. He re turns. He looked pretty good. And that. Uh, well, uh, 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 that sucks. Uh, 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 maybe I need to hit that wood. Uh, 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 wood. Uh, <laughs> oh. Perfect place to hit, and that was not it. No point for that. Hmm. Nope. Some espresso. Let's call it espresso. It's espresso. Espresso chip ice cream, please. Mm. Well, we had a good fill with a good mark, so why not? We have to ruin it somehow. I urgently need help. Call now. Call now to save to save the children from some struggles. Yeah, uh, yeah that, I think it went down. Uh, It's still up and I think it still counts because nope, I can't see it. Okay. And yeah, it wasn't there. And oh, it went to the side and well, guess what? Alright, he told him what's who's boss again. And while he throws down that ball to get the pin out of the gutter, seven, eight, spare, a ten, nine making the fill, and the three for a forty-seven. 
Meanwhile, Chris got a 10 and it's doing an animation. So he's got 9, 8, 10, 8, and a 10, 45. 47, 45, my favor. I have the shape to prove it. And we know when we get a good fill on a mark, we have to have a bad frame to completely erase it. So that's a five. It's still a halfway decent game. And this thing decided to not work. Oh, there we go. got robbed. Maybe this thing was on the good camera. I'm surprised it went as long as it did. I don't know. I just know it's working right now. And there's a 10. Middle finger for the nine. And, ooh, that looks pretty good, and almost. Aaron dances around the nine. That's it anyway. Like I said, unless he got another strike after the mark, it doesn't really matter much. Welcome to Masons. So much for the good game. Well, actually, that's still possible. Uh, quarter Worcester pretty much means junk. cleared the hole left. So that would be four, five, four fill. Weak, but hey, they still help. Talk a little more because there's a TV going and that was a great shot. Just 
the ball was on the wrong side of the pin. Niner. Take nine. Wow, that was a great shot. And... Oh. Roll just in time. Average, but we'll take that unless we spare it. Still suck. But at least it's average ability around that point. Nice shot and a little full, but that ten thousandth of an inch finish on the uh, on the urethane deck, it really helps. And he wins. But then again, does that come to anybody's surprise? How many times have you got Emily before? I think a couple of times I've Emily. 84, 106. Needless to say, I lost. That's kind of a given. Makes you wonder how the heck I got into the palace. Uh, King of the palace, doesn't it? Every now and then I actually don't suck, but that's rare. Alright, final game, because that's how we do this. I will not Lego my egg off. Remember who shot it.
All right, nine's fine. And, all right, that just barely fell into the pit. Oh, it went to the left, but, hmm, well, he's set up easy. Oh, wow. How did the six pin not fall? Niner. I didn't think that was going to happen. We'll take it. A little bit on the thin side. It's like Gardner 10 pins. Thin seems to win. You know what's funny is that Chelmsford Lanes, it's a duck pin house. If you, uh, if you uh, skip lob like that, for some reason, the ball will go as high as, pretty much as high as your eyes. Very, very bouncy. And it barely, barely uh, releasing too soon, and the thing skips like five feet into the air and comes in contact around 40 feet down the lane. <laughs> Nice. Paul's brain was swelling, and what will help is a 10. I'm sure you can hear the TV show playing in the background. Usually TV shows don't get caught. Was all stink all. No. Not a bad fill, and believe it. Yeah, I've never really bothered looking at it. Ooh, too full. And then he leaves that. You'd be wishing it was a spread eagle plus one. Well, two actually. Very risky surgery to hit those pins. Yes, it well, it, since it was almost disaster, that's all right for what it was.
Let's just make sure this guy's still there. Yeah, it is. But what can we do after it? Uh -huh. Oh, half Worcester, friend. Spare. It's nine spare. Eight. Seven of those filling the spare. And then there's an animation that's keeping me from going through. All right. Nine and a strike. So far, my half is a 53. Chris, a nine, ten, seven, ten, and a spare. So far, his half is a 46. I have two El Stinkos to help raise that bar. Well, time to Emily. El Stinko 1 lived up to its name. Ouch. Well, look who did it. Seems the strike fills were all crap. So it makes my half a 54. Yep, no strike has led to any good. So that ruined the entire game. I mean, still can get a decent score, but all the strikes have been are just show, and that's it. Meanwhile, he's got a six. And that's nowhere near the pin. Niner. So that takes his rightful place in the lead. Seven ain't heaven. And eight, nine, and well, yeah, needless to say, which one's going to survive? But he tells the bowling gods what he thinks of them.
Allegheny's going down the tubes, but it's bottom end of average probably. And there he goes. That's the one who's better deserves it. I just need a one to hit the bottom end of average, which, and there's a pin sticking up. Oh, then it fell. <laughs> it, I think it saw. I think it saw that you were ready to throw and gave in. Two bonus balls. For six of four so far. And seven, eight. Looks like it may be an eight. So he's got a three digit game going, so, and we all know I don't. No chance in hell. And robbed. Nine, so he's got 90. Eight. Of course it ends bad, but at least it's a okay score. So I lost, no big no big surprise there. You know, special people had to be flown in because the shaft is deep. <laughs> well, he's got a three-digit score, and I don't, which obviously rare. Well, I never really improved. Yeah, a decent game, but it fell apart completely in the end. Three, five, eight, four. Only the nine. Oh, the no. a three, five, and a four. That's what I'm looking at. Yep, for those of you who say I'm getting better at this game, there's proof that that's a lie. Like I said, every once in a while I do get lucky, and that's pretty much it. Anyway... That's somebody who hardly ever plays versus someone who always does and, and can't win. Anyway, Putnam Street Lanes. That's our six games. George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.